everyone, I'm Daria. Today I'm going to teach you how to crochet raffia bucket hat a la Prada hat. Welcome back to Daria Crochet Life. On this channel I post knitting and crochet lessons, simple and not so simple tutorials on how to make different knitting and crochet projects. So if any of that interests you, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's talk about all materials and tools that you will need for today's tutorial. So first of all, you will need a yarn. Uh, we will work with the raffia yarn today. And I have uh, this yarn, it, um, it's Fibra Natura raffia. Uh, and uh, in one um, ball, it is 40 grams, which is 99 yards or 90 meters. So the color is uh, 116, 14. Uh, very natural like straw color this yarn is made in Turkey I was working with that before um, it's very soft I like it uh, so you can you can work with that one or you can take um, wool and again rara raffia or you can take yashi uh, by universal yarns I worked with these uh, two brands as well and they have very similar yardage and um, um, you easily can substitute it I think we'll need around two balls uh, of this kind of yarn uh, I will I will write down exactly uh, how many balls like how, how much yarn I used for my hat uh, yeah and this uh, this yarn is asking for five millimeter hook five millimeter hook but uh, I think we will go with a smaller hook so I decided to go with 3.5 uh, 3.5 millimeter hook uh, because I want it to be a little bit tighter uh, since it's a hat I want it to hold the shape better so that's why I don't want to use a uh, five millimeter hook so 3.5 would be the best uh, also you will need scissors you will need uh, measuring tape to measure uh, your hat and we will need a um, tapestry needle or yarn needle uh, to uh, to weave in ends at the end uh, you also can use a smaller crochet hook if you don't have a tapestry needle okay let's start crocheting first thing that we need to do is a, a magic circle so let's make a loop like that then I hold it uh, in my left hand like this uh, hold the yarn in crocheting position insert my hook into the loop bring it forward and make a chain so this is my uh, magic circle okay let me adjust the size all right so the main uh, pattern would be double crochet uh, stitches the main stitch uh, in this pattern is double crochet and in the first row we will do um, double crochet as well so uh, as we know in the beginning of every double crochet row we need to make some chains so i am going to make three chains one two and three please keep in mind that this first chain that we did it's not a stitch it's like we don't count it so um, you start counting from here one two and three and later these three chains they will play a role of a double crochet of one double crochet so right now I need to make right into this circle I need to make 11 more double crochet so I'm making yarn over I insert my hook right into the circle yarn over pull through have three loops on the hook adjust the size of these loops yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two uh, please be careful with this little uh, yarn end you see i put it along the along the circle uh, and when i insert my hook i make sure that it, it's going under both this short end and the circle okay you can keep working like that uh, until you will have 12 bars in total so including these three chains at the beginning so you see right now i have three in total it should be 12. so i have 12 bars right now 
be careful don't forget to count these three chains as one so after that you can take the short end and start pulling it to close the hole like this so that's okay if it would be a little hole so no no worries no problem at the end of every row um, of row of the, um, the row of double crochet you need to make a slip stitch and the slip stitch will go into the third chain remember those three uh, chains at the beginning of the row so you need to find the third one uh, I have a little trick for you because sometimes it's hard to see where is this chain so if you stretch your work you will see better let's look at this double crochet so you see this bar and on top it has a V so then we go into the next double crochet this bar and on top it has a V uh, we need to make a slip stitch over here into the uh, this chain this V right before the this double crochet so I'm inserting my hook over there right into the middle yarn over and pull through everything so that's what you're supposed to have after the making the first round in the second round you start with three chains then you need to make a double crochet into the same hole it's very easy to see it's pretty loose and we're making double crochet over there so that was our increase when you do two stitches into the same hole that's increase uh, in the next round, in the second round, we are going to make increase in every stitch. So that means we will do two double crochet in every stitch. I'm doing my first double crochet into the next stitch and another one into the same stitch. Uh, if it's hard for you to see if you did one or two stitches, just stretch your work and you will see, okay, I have this hole and I see two bars going from that hole. That means that this is increase. So keep working like this to the end of this round. And at the end of the round, you're supposed to have 24 uh, double crochet. So I came to the end of my round, I counted my stitches and I have 24 double crochet right now, even though I was not sure, do I need to make a stitch over here or like, or don't. So then I decided to count my stitches and it seems like I already have 24 stitches. So that means I don't need to make more. Uh, so be careful and count your stitches at the end of the row. And as I told you before, at the end of every row, uh, we need to make a slip stitch. So I found one, two, third chain, insert my hook over there and making a slip stitch like that and closed the, the circle. So make sure that your circle uh, stays flat so you can flatten it with your fingers like that. Uh, let's start making row number three. We start with three chains then let's make double crochet into the same hole which will be our increase so one double crochet then into the next hole we will do just one double crochet and that's our pattern so we need to make increase double increase double increase double and we'll work like that to the end so in the next stitch i will make it, i'm making increase two double crochet into the same hole and into the following stitch i'm doing just one double crochet so keep working like this to the end of this round and at the end of this round you will have 36 stitches I am at the end of uh, round three and the last thing that I need to make is a slip stitch into the third chain like that so and I already have flattened my circle and ready to start making row four uh, three chains then uh, this time we are not gonna do an increase into the same stitch we will start do an increase from the next stitch so right now don't do anything into the same hole uh, make a yarn over and go into the next 
stitch under both loops and make an increase over there. After that, uh, make two double crochet. Each of them will go into their row and stitch, into their row and spot. This is one and this is two. So now please repeat this part. One increase and two double crochet, each of them going into their own space all around. When you'll come closer to the end, uh, I'll explain you what to do next. I'm at the end of uh, round four. I have just two stitches left and I just did two double crochet. So in the next stitch, I'm doing one increase And into the last one, I'll do just one single, uh, sorry, double crochet. So I'm finishing the round with one double crochet because you know why? Because we started the round with uh, these three chains that play a role of one double crochet and we started our increase over there. So that's why if we look right now, so we'll have increase and two double crochet together. Uh, please count your stitches and make sure that you have 48 uh, double crochet that's what you're supposed to have after this round and as usual finish the round by making a, a slip stitch into the third chain and flatten the circle next round you start with round number five you start with three chains and then we will make a double crochet into the same hole. So we will start with an increase. Then in next three holes, in next three stitches, you are doing just regular three double crochet. One, two, and three. And then you can, um, you can, um, Repeat the same pattern. So one increase, three double crochet, and you work all around. Uh, in the next one, we are doing one increase and then three double crochet. And at the end of this round, please count your stitches. You're supposed to have 60 double crochet. Um, I'm at the end of the row five. I have 60 double crochet around. And I'm finishing the round by making a slip stitch into the third chain, like that. Uh, in the next round, you start with three chains. Then in the next double crochet, you need to make one double crochet. No increase this time. And into the next one, we will do an increase. After that, you need to make four double crochet. Each of them will go into their row and a stitch. Okay. So then please repeat this part, one increase and one, two, three, four stitches all around almost to the end. You will stop over here and then I'll explain you what to do next. At the end of this round, you, you see I have three uh, stitches left um, and I just finished doing my four double crochet. So then next stitch I'm making an increase which is logical, right? That's what I'm supposed to do after four double crochet. And then I'm doing my two double crochet. Each of them is going into uh, their own spot. One and two. Uh, and then you will see that once again, we have increase here, increase there, and we have four stitches in between. One, two, three, four. Uh, please count your stitches. After this round, you're supposed to have 72 double crochet. And also don't forget to uh, like to flatten this circle. It should be as flat as possible. 
and at the end you're finishing with a slip stitch into the third chain like that uh, next round that would be round seven we will not do double crochet we will do a single crochet round uh, and in order to start it you need to make a chain and then you need to make uh, an increase but this time single crochet increase so insert your hook into the same hole where that slip stitch was made and make your first single crochet and then another one into the same hole so that was your increase we start the row with single crochet increase then starting from the next stitch going under both loops you need to make 11 single crochet And then you just repeat uh, this pattern one increase 11 single crochet to the end of the round in total you're supposed to um, to repeat the pattern six times and at the end of this round you will have 78 stitches I'm at the end of this round um, I counted my stitches I have a 78 uh, single crochet and I need to finish uh, this round by making a slip stitch so remember at the beginning of the round we did an increase so if you stretch you will see okay this is the hole and these two uh, single crochet going from this hole so I need to insert my hook into the first single crochet under both loops like that and make a slip stitch over there kind of to join the circle so make sure that your circle as flat as possible make sure that you have correct number of stitches and we are ready to start our next round so if you want um, at this stage you can uh, steam or iron your head uh, you can even starch it or like I mean this circle only you can even starch it uh, I made a video on how to do it uh, and this is a good uh, point where you can um, iron this circle because after that we are going to work on the head uh, sides so we will do 78 stitches in the next round and that would be one more time that would be a round of single crochet and in order to start this, that round you need to make one chain and then we will um, do not very like common round of uh, single crochet the main difference is where you insert your hook so let me show you somewhere here uh, you see this stitch it has two loops front loop and back loop so we will go through the back loop make sure that you have back loop on your hook but also we will use this loop this one this loop that is right uh, behind the back loop and it's a little tighter so that's why it would be a little hard to insert your hook but you can do it so when you will insert your hook make sure that you have these two loops let me show you one more time so it will it would be back loop and then the one that is right right next to it this one very tight okay uh, and we are not going to do any increases this time be careful where you you will do your first so remember this uh, increase from the previous round so we need to start with the first single crochet it's very tight right now so I found the back uh, loop and now it's here this little one this little little one okay okay I did it so make sure that you have these two loops and then make normal single crochet so yarn over pull through have two loops yarn over pull through two and you need to, to work like that to the end of this round so the stitch the back loop okay no I need two of you together on my hook you see how slow this row is but that's okay this will help to change the direction of the work uh, and it will create a crisp edge because you see the front loops will stay um, uh, like on one side and now our um, single crochet they are kind of on the other side so we change the direction of the work 
All right, so work like this to the end of this round, and at the end, please count, you should have 78. So I finished this uh, round number seven. Uh, I, have, I still have 78 stitches around, and as you can see, um, the work changed the direction. It looks like a little, little hat right now. Uh, okay, next round will be our first round. Oh yeah, but before doing the next round, we need to make a slip stitch into the first, first single crochet the one that was at the beginning of this round. So let's close the row, first uh, single um, slip stitch. Okay, in the next round, that's round eight, uh, we will do new round. So that would be the round with the uh, holes. And we started with four chains. When you will do chains in this round, please make sure to work them a little bit looser than your usual chains. So then we're not going to do anything into the same hole. We will skip the next one and the uh, second one uh, we will use and we will do a double crochet over there. So one more time, not the same stitch, not next one, but second one, uh, make a double crochet. And that's our first hole. Now chain one, work looser than usual, uh, skip one stitch and into the next one double crochet. So that's it, you work like this all around. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next one. So work like this to the end of this round. So I come to the end of this round, I have uh, one stitch left, so I'm making my last my last chain my last chain and then I need to make a slip stitch uh, please be careful over here remember we did four uh, chains at the beginning of this round one two three and four so you still need to make a slip stitch into the uh, third one not into the fourth one but into the uh, third one and I'm doing a slip stitch over there Okay, that's what you're supposed to have after uh, this round. And if you count double crochet of um, this round, so you're supposed to have 39 double crochet. Okay, you need to make five more rounds like, like the one that we did um, just now, uh, but you will uh, flip your work all the time. So let me show you how to start all of these five uh, rounds. So you start with four chains. Then you turn in your work. Right now you will look to the uh, like inside of your head. And we need to make a double crochet on top of the next double crochet. So you, you skip this hole and you're making a double crochet right into this hole under both loops like normal double crochet so and we created new new hole so then chain one one more time try to make it as loose as possible and double crochet into the next one so work like this all around to the end and at the end you will make a slip stitch over here into one two three into the third uh, chain then you will make chain four, turn your work, and you will repeat exactly the same row. And in total, that should be five, uh, six rows with holes. Okay, my friends, I finished uh, six uh, rows, six rounds with the holes. Uh, in total, right now, I have 14 rounds. And my last round, I was working um, and I was looking into the wrong side of the hat. So, so from now on, we will um, work on the brim and I one, one more time need to change the direction of my work. Um, and in the next round, I will um, increase and uh, the next round will be the round of single crochet. So that's why you need to make a chain one then you turn in your work like this and um, we need to make basically 
uh, in every stitch, in every single stitch, you will make uh, something increase or single crochet. Um, but let me explain you where you, you, you will insert your hook. So if that's a big hole, like a chain space, you go right into the middle. So under the uh, chain. Don't don't try to go into the chain. Go into the big hole. If it's a uh, double crochet, so you go on top of the double crochet under both loops like this. All right, so in this round, we start with uh, one single crochet on top of the uh, double crochet from the previous row. So that should be the same hole where we did the uh, slip stitch. And I'm making my first single crochet there. Then into the uh, chain space, second one. And then into the double crochet, third one. In total, I need to make six like that so that's three uh, four five and six after making this six single crochet uh, i need to make an increase in the next one so this time it is into the double crochet increase means two stitches into the same hole all right, after that, you need to make uh, 12 single crochet, each of them going into their own space. So if it's uh, this big hole, so you go under the chain. If it's a double crochet, you go into the um, double crochet. So 12 like that, and then increase. 12 stitches, increase, 12 stitches, increase, and you work like this almost to the end, and I'll see you over there. Look, right now I'm in the middle of the same row, so I finish my 12 uh, single crochet, and the increase, next is increase, and the next space is this big hole. So it's very easy, I'll just do two uh, single crochet into the same big hole. That will be my increase. And then start another 12 into the next stitch. I'm almost at the end of this round. I just finished 12 uh, single crochet. In the next hole, I make an increase. And then I need to finish with six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and the last one into this big um, chain space. Count your stitches. After this round, you're supposed to have 84 stitches. And don't forget that we need to finish the round with slip stitch into the first single crochet of this round like that so after that we will work uh, we will not flip our work we will work in rounds uh, like normal and we are going back to uh, rows of double crochet so we will do just regular double crochet right now but that would be our increase rows now in the next row row 16 you start with three chains Then you need to make two double crochet in the next two stitches. So you ignore the same hole and in the next stitch you're making a double crochet and another double crochet into the next stitch. Then make an increase, two double crochet into the same stitch. After that, you can uh, you need to make six uh, double crochet. Each of them will go into their own spot. Then you need to repeat this part, one increase, six double crochet all around, 
and I'll see you over here closer to the end. I'm at the end of this round. I just finished six double crochet, so next is an increase. And I'm going to finish this round with three double crochet. One, two, and three. Please count your stitches. After this round, you're supposed to have 96 double crochet. If everything is correct, so then you can uh, make a slip stitch into the third chain uh, that we did at the beginning to close the, uh, the row. Okay, you see after every round, I am uh, flattening and stretching uh, my stitches. Uh, so it would be it would be nicer later. Round 17 would be our round without any increases. So we start with three chain and then make one double crochet on top of every stitch from the previous round. So just double crochet round and you're supposed to have 96 stitches uh, after this round. Uh, I came to the point where I need to um, attach another ball of yarn because um, one ball is over. You see, we're almost, almost done and uh, just finished one ball. Uh, so it's, it's very easy. Uh, you just leave a little bit longer end, like this one, like 20, 30 centimeters, because it would be easier for you to weave it in later. And then drop, drop this old working yarn, the short end, uh, and take the new yarn also uh, leave a little bit longer end and uh, put it very close to the old one like this and hold the new yarn as your um, working yarn after that and keep working with a uh, new yarn right now so i didn't do any knots yet uh, i'm gonna make a couple stitches and after that, I can uh, tie a knot, even double knot. Raffia is very good in hiding all the knots. So, yeah, I, I think maybe, yeah, okay, I'll do a double knot. And then I'll weave in ends later at the end. Okay, at the end of this round, you need to make a slip stitch into the third chain to close uh, the round. Uh, next round, that's uh, round 18, we start with three chains and then we will do an increase right away. So yarn over and insert your hook into the same hole and make an increase because these three chains and double crochet, they are making an increase. After that, you need to make seven uh, double crochet, each of them going into the row and spot. And you work like this all around. Um, okay, I made seven double crochet after an increase. So next is an increase. And then you work like this. One increase, seven double crochet. One increase, seven double crochet. You uh, repeat it to the end of this round. And at the end of this round, you're supposed to have 108 stitches. At the end of this round, you need to make a slip stitch count your stitches one more time and make sure that you have 108. Uh, next round, round 19, you start with three chains and then you need to make a double crochet in every uh, stitch from the previous uh, round. So you just work without any increases, you just double crochet around and you're supposed to have 108 stitches at the end of this round. And at the end of this round, you need to make a slip knot to close uh, the gap. Okay, I think that uh, this is enough uh, because I don't want to make very uh, wide brim this time. So I want this hat to be uh, with shorter brim so that it can be unisex. Yeah. But I want to add one more round and that would be the round of single crochet because I don't like how uh, how it looks like if I finish with just double crochet. So that's why I, I'm making chain one and insert my hook into the same hole 
making my first single crochet and then I will just single crochet around and at the end of this round, round 20, I will have uh, 108 single crochet. So I'm not increasing um, this time. So no more increases. Work like this to the end of this round. At the end of this round, you need to make a, a slip stitch into the first uh, single crochet. Okay, I can do it. Slip stitch in order to close uh, the gap. Then you can cut. Uh, then you can cut the yarn. Leave a little bit longer end because it would be easy to sew it, and fasten off. So take this short end and pull it through the remaining loop, like that. Then you can take tapestry needle and you can weave in all the ends. Let me show you on this example. So I'm just threading the. Uh, leftover yarn through the tapestry needle and it's better to do it from the wrong side try to find any loop that is close to the yarn let's say this one try to make uh, uh, try to find the one that is very very close insert your needle under and pull through so then find another loop that is close let's say this one and pull through and work like this a little bit more. As I said, crochet is really good, especially crocheting with raffia is really good in hiding uh, the ends. So they will not pop up uh, later for sure. Uh, and it's good if you'll change directions a little bit. So go to the left, go to the right, go down, go up. Uh, so work like this a little bit more. And only after that, you can cut the excess yarn like this. So now you need to do the same thing with all other uh, yarn ends. And uh, the only thing that, uh, that left that you need to do is uh, to steam and starch this head. I really, really recommend you to starch this head. I have a video on my channel on how to steam and starch a raffia bucket hat, so you can go and check that video. It's exactly the same process uh, that I'll do with this hat. All right, I finished uh, this hat, so I, um, I steamed it and starched it a little bit. Uh, as I said, you can watch the video. I used exactly the same starch and the process of steaming was exactly the same like I was showing in the video. And I really, really like uh, the look of this um, hat. But now I want to tell you exactly the measurements of this hat because sometimes people asking me what are the measurements. Uh, so let's, let's take a look. Over here, the, the first circle is around 16, no, like this, 16.5, 16.5 uh, centimeters or 6.5 inches. So then the second part from, from this um, edge to uh, the moment when we start doing um, the brim is um, 9 centimeters or 3.5 inches and the brim is and the brim is 6.5 or 2 point, um, centimeters or 2.5 inches exactly uh, I just measured uh, this head and I used exactly 60 gram of uh, my raffia so it was uh, two um balls like one half ball and a little bit of the other one all right my friends that's it that i wanted to tell you and show you today if you have any questions please leave me a comment uh, if you have any recommendations and suggestions on how to improve my videos, you're very welcome in the comments as well. All the materials and tools that I'm using in this video would be linked in the description box below. If this video was useful for you, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and don't forget to ring the bell so you will receive notifications about all of my future uh, tutorials. If you're going to make this raffia bucket hat and uh, want to post it uh, in um, 
social media like Instagram, please tag me. Uh, here you can see my Instagram name. Uh, I really, really like to see uh, your projects, your works uh, that you're doing uh, following my tutorials. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.